I've been seeing how you treat water so sacredly. I, I just saw how you, when you drink water, you touch it with so much reverence, like how we touch a God's photo. See, you're reverential to gods that you've not seen. I'm reverential to God that I've seen. The food that you eat, the water that you drink, the air that you breathe, the soil that you walk upon, these are the ones which are uh, keeping you alive. You're made of that. Your very body is made of that, isn't it? Three days if we don't give you a drop of water and uh, I dress up like God and come, whatever God you like, you like uh, Ganapati, I'll dress up like Ganapati and come. Yeah, what will you ask? What? <laughs> then what? <laughs>
So in twenty-five years' time when this generation passes, who do you think is going to grow food for you? And where? With hundred and thirty crores of people on our hands, if we do not take care of food and water security for this nation, we are planning a disaster for our, ourselves. It is very, very important people have substantial amount of water for their daily life and agriculture. If we don't do this, we are pushing the nation to an extreme position. But having such a rich land, so rich in organisms, we can turn it around in a matter of eight to ten years' time or eight to twelve years' time. I request all of you to stay committed. Twelve years, do you remember me? Yes! Twelve years, yes?